morning everyone. My name is Yudhik Subedi and my project is on the topic Space Technology. Space Technology is technology for use in travel and activities beyond the Earth's atmosphere for purposes such as space flight or space exploration. Space Technology includes spacecraft, space stations, satellites and orbital launch vehicles. There are two major careers in Space Technology, Technicians and Technologists. Technicians are practical specialists trained for jobs requiring technical expertise in specific tasks such as troubleshooting, inspecting, repair, testing, etc. Technologists have practical skills and theoretical knowledge. They study advanced mathematics, engineering theory and scientific principles. This allows them to work on problem resolution, design, data interpretation, analysis, etc. Here is the Orion spacecraft. Orion is a class of partially reusable crewed spacecraft part of NASA's Artemis program. The spacecraft can have a crew up to 6 beyond low earth orbit. The crew module is made up of aluminium lithium alloy. The Orion can last up to 21 days undocked and up to 6 months docked. The spacecraft has solar panels, an automated docking system and glass cockpit interface. So this is NASA's Orion spacecraft. Thank you. Hello respected teachers and my dear friends. Today I am Aita Jain of class 9th F. The career that I am representing is chemical analysis. The basic role of chemical analyst is to design, set up and carry out the chemical experiments and analyze it. In addition to laboratory work, the chemical analyst also spends a good time in preparing the reports, the functions and the use of this data typically depends on the type of the industry in which the chemist works. So now let us understand what is specific gravity. Specific gravity is the ratio of density of the given substance to the density of water. Step 1 is to measure the empty cup. So the weight of this cup is 215 grams. Second step is to pour the liquid. Good morning everyone, my name is Vinit Kar and the career I have chosen is Bot Developer. A Bot Developer is someone who develops bots and helps to ease the daily work of people through the bots. Such as Bot Developers can create payment interface that automatically accepts payments. So today even I have created a bot which helps people in playing music ad free while chatting and working with friends. So firstly the prefix of the bot is exclamatory means if you have to use any command you must put exclamatory before it. So in order to see the list of its features you must type prefix L. As you can see a list of commands then appear. And now in order to play the song you must type prefix play along with the name of the song. Responsibility of our quality management. 
manager is to maintain the standards keeping the legalities in mind so now we will start with experiments first we will start with salt i have two types of stock i have two types of salt and i will pour them in two individual glasses and after mixing it we will come to know which one is adulterated and which one is real so as you can see there is milky shade so it is adulterated and it is just translucent so it is real one so let's move on the second experiment so everybody knows that turmeric is a medicinal spice so we will see that how much turmeric is adulterated Well, pour some turmeric in the glass, and after mixing it, we will after some time we will see that we will come to know that the particles floating above uh, above are uh, adulterated, and the particles which are settled down are real. So you know how much adulterated food items we are consuming these days. So now we will know that how much acid is present in our stomach. Now I will pour a few drops of universal pH indicator to see how much neutral it is. So now you can see it is neutral and now I'll blow some air into it to see how much acid is present in our body due to adulterated food. So as you can see it has become yellow and it has pH 6. Thank you. Good morning respected man, teachers and my dear friends. Today I have Francis Matoria from 9th F would like to apprise you about a geochemist. Now who is a geochemist? A geochemist is an expert in science or a student of branch of science concerning the chemical composition of earth, its minerals and its rocks. A geochemist studies the composition, structure, processes and other aspects of the earth. They examine the distribution of chemical elements in rocks, minerals and movement of these elements in soil and water system. As a geochemist, you need to undertake field visits to collect site examples, generate computer modules, interpret a variety of data and analyze the results, write technical reports and papers for journal. Tool used by geochemist Rock Hammer They use to obtain a fresh surface of the rock to determine its composition. Handless, a small magnifying glass used by a geochemist to take closer looks at rocks. Field notes, these help you to track the observations during the interview or play documentation. A compass, a compass is most used by a structural geochemist measuring the foliation, lineation in metamorphic rocks or fault and joints in mining areas. Map. A geochemist can understand the nature of surface process in a given area, including zones subjected to land sliding, pressure undergoing erosion, etc. A pocket scraper. A pocket scraper is used to perform hardness tests on minerals and rocks. Thank you. Welcome one and all to my Nirman project. I am Abhira Jha from class 9 and row number 9617. Today, I am showcasing one of the most prestigious careers in our country, the Armed Forces. Youngsters can choose a career which is full of adventure and excitement by becoming an officer in the Armed Forces. The Armed Forces in our country is divided into four categories, the Indian Navy, the Indian Air Force, the Indian Army and the Indian Coastal Guard. The Indian Army is considered to be the third largest in the whole world and its officers are considered to be the best in high altitude battlefields. I am presenting an unmanned multiple rocket launcher Pinaka. The Pinaka is produced in India and developed by the Defense Research Development Organization DRD. For the Indian Army, the rockets can be fired in 44 seconds, having a maximum speed reaching up to 120 km and can rise to an altitude of 40 km before hitting its target. The rocket can be guided 
by a GPS to improve their accuracy. This unmanned rocket launcher is designed for high precision firing in a short time. This state of art rocket launcher is going to be instrumental and helpful for the Indian Army for winning the various combats in the future. Jay. Welcome to Nirman. Uh, today I Kartave Jain from class 9th F, roll number 20 will tell you about what coders and software developers do which helps us in daily life. So let's get started with the video. Yeah, so let me begin with the definition of coding. Coding, sometimes called computer programming, is how we communicate with the computers. Coders tell a computer what actions to take and by writing code it's like creating a set of instructions. By learning to write code, you can do many cool things with your computer. You can also tell your computer uh, how and what to behave in a much faster way. You can use the skill to make website and apps and also create softwares. Uh, and also to process data and uh, to do a lot of other cool things. So yeah, now you guys must ask that uh, we are not even related to this thing. So how can this thing help us in real life? So, here's some examples. So yeah, guys. As I was telling you about a uh, live example. So, here is a speaker. And here is its button. So, if I turn this on like this. Bluetooth mode. Yes. So, it has got a code that if this button turns on, you have to turn on. Similarly. Yeah, guys. So, similarly, I was telling you about the code. So here are several keys of my laptop and each key have been given a certain code. So if I press G here, a G appears there similarly with H, J, K and L. So these keys have been coded. Yes guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you understood the topic what I was trying to explain to you guys. So we'll meet next time. Thank you. My name is Shauri Shetty. I am studying in 9th F and my project topic is a bank teller. My career goal is to work for a multinational bank. A banking career is any platform within a financial institution. The common banking careers include bank accountant, investment bankers and bank administration. A career in banking is something most individuals can pursue. Some position do not require higher education. Bank is a loan department from where the customers take the loan. The bank also has a locker room in which the customer can store their jewellery and other valuable things in it. There is a saving deposit and debt in which the people deposit their money to the saving bank for getting some interest. The bank has an ATM machine in which the people can withdraw their money. Now I will show you how this ATM machine works.
Hello Dalmians, welcome to 2021 Nirman Exhibition. I am Shobh Mishra from grade 9th F and I am going to put light on the gaming industry that is booming today in India. Its importance is not known by the majority chunk of the people today, but the growth that the industry has made make its prime market of India. Hundreds of millions of people around the world unbox a video game or download a new update adding billions of dollars to an industry that is already rich then both the global box office and the music business combined it's pretty incredible how massive this industry is and the level to which it is evolved over the decades from very first game machine in new york in 1940 fast forward to the arcade games in 70s computer games in 80s and 90s to online game and now mobile gaming and esports in 2021 this is the working model of the gaming laptop and gaming cpu which is used by gaming professionals all around the globe the cpu has a cooling technology fan which cools down all the equipment as the esports player play for excessive art games are definitely on the rise and i think there's a lot of potential for games to do good the biggest entertainment industry generates a relatively higher revenue has various new career opportunities attached to it such as game tester game designer software developer gamer audio engineer etc i'm so glad i got into game design it's cool to be able to create the kind of games that we play in india it is approximated that full time professional gamers will fill stadiums and will earn in millions by 2023 isn't that amazing to so go ahead explore the gaming field and watch how gaming is going to change the world to remain healthy the danger in lunar environment includes extreme temperature and vacuum of space the moon has no atmosphere so the astronauts need to wear space suits when they leave their landing craft any future lunar outpost will have air ducts so the visitors will be able to remove their suits once they enter the outpost The airlock would help reduce the amount of air lost in the space each time someone entered or left the outpost. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Nirman Exhibition 2021. My name is Adhar Kurel. I am from class 9 Division F, roll number 9614. My topic is career in space tourism. Space tourism is another segment of the aviation industry that seeks to give tourists ability to become astronaut and experience space travel for recreational leisure of or business purposes there are several option for space tourists presently some commercial space tourism operators namely virgin galactic space x blue origin are already offering sub orbital space flights as a mean of delivering the experience of real weightlessness in space to those members of general public who are willing and able to pay the premium additionally space tourism will be good business it will generate significant number of new job and capabilities in the upcoming space tourism economy virgin galactic sold the initial tickets at $200,000 each Amazon founder Jeff Bezos launched in space this year on July 20. The billionaire was in space for total 11 minutes with no pilot or space suit. Working model. Specimen of the ticket. The launch of a spacecraft comprises of a period of power light during which the vehicle rises above the Earth's 
atmosphere and accelerates at least to orbital velocity. Powered light ends when the rocket's last stage burns out and the spacecraft separates and continues in free fall. Thank you. Hello my dear friends and respected teachers. I am Reva Srivastav of class 9th F. The career that I am representing is of an atmospheric scientist. A PhD or Master of Philosophy in Atmospheric Science is the minimum required qualification to become an atmospheric scientist. Atmospheric scientists study and measure atmosphere including air pressure. Here is a live experiment to demonstrate air pressure. First we are going to put the candle. Now we will put the water into about 2 inches. Now we will light the candle. Now we will put this carefully on. The candle goes off when all the oxygen inside the container is used up. The air inside cools and the change in air pressure pulls the water in. The atmospheric pressure is measured by barometer. A high reading on barometer indicates high pressure which scientists interpret as good weather. A low reading on barometer is often precursor to bad weather patterns. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Myself Angel Lakhani studying in 9th F and my topic for Nirman exhibition is Airport Operation Management. The model over here is a replica of an airport with so much hustle and bustle of the passengers. The escalators moving up and down and the people waiting to pick down at on the moving luggage. An airport is a fast-paced working environment. Have you ever imagined how the operations of an airport is managed so systematically? Airport operation managers are responsible for overseeing that all the procedures at an airport are carried out efficiently. They also ensure that the airport is managed in compliance with the regulations prescribed by the governing board. An airport operation manager is crucial in the efficient operation of an airport. They coordinate with various departments, pilots, emergency crews, security personnel, air traffic. It 
is an e-commerce company found in 2012 in Mumbai. Nainda is a Sanskrit word meaning one in the spotlight and was launched around the Bali 2012. As of 2020, it was valued at 85 billion rupees, making the first startup by an individual. While they're feeling, I would like to say that determine your brand emphasis or your promise. My name is Asha Devedi and the project topic is Volcanologist. What is a Volcanologist? A Volcanologist is a specialist in geophysics. Most of a Volcanologist work done is either by studying dead or dormant volcanoes. Then they publish their findings in an easy to understand manner for a general public. This small right here represents how a volcano erupts. How do volcanoes erupts? Volcano erupts when the hot molten rock called magma rises to the surface of the earth. If the magma is thick, the gas bubbles cannot easily escape, hence the pressure builds up. When there is too much pressure, eruption can happen, which can be explosive and destructive. Is there any other way eruption can happen? Another way eruption can happen is when the water underneath the earth, earth surface interacts with the hot magma and create steam. This can build up enough pressure to cause an explosion. Hello everyone, my name is Ashul Kedia and I'm from class 9th F. I'm here as a meteorologist. A meteorologist focuses on weather processes and forecasting. His major responsibility is to monitor and analyze its changes to make predictions and interpretations about weather conditions for the benefit of the man. In other words, a person who studies and practices the science of measurement. And now I'm going to show you that how a rain cloud is formed. When the clouds get full of water, they can't hold it anymore. The water falls down as rain. Over here, the clouds are the shaving cream and the colored water is the rain. As we drop the colored water into the cloud, the weight of the water forces itself through the cloud to rain down into the jar. The science behind it. In this experiment, the shaving cream slowly absorbs the colored water. Once the shaving cream becomes too full, the colored water drips its way out into the water. Rain clouds do the same thing. As the cloud absorbs water and get full they begin to swell and it starts to rain thank you hello my name is ashita bhatiana grade 9f my topic for nirman exhibition is space technology space technology is a term that's used for traveling or knowing the activities that are done beyond the earth's atmosphere my model mainly focuses about the space safety it has the ability to control and change the directions the model is highly efficient and advanced and devices that enable the rocket to change its direction when it sequences heavenly bodies around the radius of 200 kilometers. It also has a high-tech camera that it installed to take pictures of the different planets and stars. Lastly, I would like to say the model is a necessity for the space technology as it guarantees excellent
representation of the sun and this is the representation of the elliptical orbit and this model here shows you about how the uh, other planets move around the sun in a elliptical orbit thank you and marketing and managing the galaxies and etc i as a planetarium director has a master or doctoral degree in astronomy now let me tell you something about my project that is the solar system our solar system consists of the sun and the other planets and many other terrestrial bodies some are natural satellites like the moon and some are human made the solar system is full of discoveries the universe has more than 500 solar systems and our solar system is in the milky way galaxy some more facts about our planets mercury is hot but not too hot for ice venus does not have any moons mars have a thicker atmosphere in the past jupiter is a great comet catcher no one knows how old saturn rings are uranus is more stormier than we thought Neptune has supersonic winds. This is our project, the solar system. It consists of the Sun, the Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and the Uranus. Thank you. Morning, respected teachers and my dear friends. My name is Alina Amin Malani, and I am from Class 9F. My job 
topic for Nirman is screen printing. Screen printers are highly skilled printers operators who oversee screen printing process. This includes designing screen print patterns, preparing the stencils, mixing and loading the screen ink, printing the final design, cleaning the printing machine, troubleshooting errors and drying final printed articles. Screen printing is a 2000 year old method first appeared and recognized in China and it was then adopted by Asian countries like Japan, India and was further created using newer methods. Customizations in products is very popular right now, one of the easiest things to customize with screen printing. It involves pushing ink or paint through a screen or stencils onto a curves or surface and the screen is placed on it and then with the help of the squeeze the ink is transferred. The sustain the paint on the fabric we have to low pressure the t-shirt. The business of screen printing can also be started at home easily. Also hope you get some information about hope screen printing. you print. get some of the new ideas by my topic screen printing. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Nirman. I am Ms. Nia Amin, studying in 9th F, would like to speak on a topic in hospitality industry. Hospitality industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. It consists of restaurants, hotels, ships, crews and theme parks. There is a wide range of career opportunities in this industry. Cleanliness, hygiene and appearance play a vital role. I would now like to introduce you all to a new machine that is Robot Vacuum Cleaner. As we all know, COVID-19 has spread throughout the globe and to ensure the safety of our clients and guests and to maintain limited manpower as per the government rules, this machine has been specially designed and used in this industry. This machine does all the repetitive and laborious tasks with effective results. It has the ability to sense and process whether this machine is affordable and portable too. Thank you. Climatology or climate science is the scientific study of Earth's climate typically defined as weather condition averaged over a period of at least 30 years. This modern field of study is regarded as a branch of the atmospheric science and subfield of physical geography which is one of the earth science. Climatology now includes aspects of oceanology and biogeochemistry. The main method employed by climatologists are the analysis of observation and modeling of the physical process that determine the climate. Thank you. This is the temperature change in the last 50 years.
allow for groundwater infiltration, porous roads and pavements that can safely accommodate cars and pedestrian traffic while allowing water to be absorbed, permeate and recharge groundwater. There are systems that allow trickling of water into the ground or that direct storm water run off into green spaces for natural absorption. Water savings and recycling including extending water recycling particularly of grey water at the, at the building block. Good morning all. My name is Saksham Garg and I am from 9th. My topic for Nirman is electric car. An electric car or battery car is an automobile that is propelled by one or more electric motors using energy stored in the battery. Compared to international combustion energy vehicles, electric cars are quieter, have no exhaust emission and lower emission overall. Charging of an electric car can be done at a variety of charging stations. These charging stations can be installed in both houses and public areas. Out of all cars sold in 2021, 4.6% are plug-in electric and by the end of this year, there will be more than 10 million plug-in electric cars on the world's public road, according to the International Energy Agency. Hence, I would like to conclude that Electric cars are the future and they are better than gas cars because they are typically responsible for the level of greenhouse gases. Thank you. The specialist astronaut teams up with the astronaut pilot to form a space shuttle or a space station crew. And together they operate the spacecraft and carry out the mission. So my project is about of getting a photo of the Earth and the how much the uh, ozone layer is deployed. And uh, for taking the photos of the of the un, of the galaxy, we need a wide field camera which can take large images of the universe. When the solar radiation interferes with the ultraviolet light of some ultraviolet light, some uh, scientists use the solar blind cameras which captures hot stars and other ultraviolet uh, uh, emitting bodies. The high resolution camera can take pictures inside galaxies. Thank you for paying attention to my